What's going on everybody? Doing a little bit of maintenance on the 6.0 today. For those of you with those older, higher mileage 6.0s, you're probably running into the same issue I have with a clogged EBP tube. Even though this one was just cleaned out, that sensor was just as clogged as the tube itself was. You can see how dirty it is in there. And in the process of putting in some new glow plugs and a few other small maintenance items, we were decided to do maintenance on the EBP uh, sensor and tube with complete replacement. There is the end that runs into your exhaust manifold down there. And we'll try to get the camera up around here. I apologize for the angle and a little bit of wind noise probably today. Let's see. It. Uh -huh. There we go. Yeah, so as you can see, the sensor runs up here on the driver's side of the motor, runs up to the top where the pigtail comes in just underneath the uh, phycum, and then it rolls down the side there and goes to your exhaust manifold. Now, it's a pretty simple uh, removal. I uh, used a 5 8 wrench on the fittings on each end of the tube, one right there and the one that's on the back side there simple break them loose um you'll probably end up running into the issue i did where your sensor tries to spin with the fitting that is attached to it on its end if that's the case a simple one inch uh open end wrench you just slap that you can unbolt the little 10 millimeter nut on the little clamp fitting balance this wrench here and show you all so yeah so there's a little 10 millimeter nut which i'm gonna try to Show y'all, find a good little angle to get it. Get the phone up here. So, do, 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 do. Yeah, so that right there is that little nut that's on the side. There's your EVP sensor tube and then that little 10 millimeter nut there on that bracket that holds it in there. Just before you take that nut off, you'll just take the nut off, unhook your pigtail, the tube and the Sensor will come out like one, like that, and then you just simply put your one inch wrench on it and your five inch wrench, break them loose, voila. Clean them if you want to, and then just re bolt it back in. Um, honestly, I pulled the fender liner because I was doing uh, wheel, uh, glow plugs anyways, um, but removing the tire, the fender liner, and the air box made it a breeze. It took me probably 10 minutes with most of that just being tightening this fitting on this end back into the exhaust manifold. So yeah, if uh, you guys have any questions or any more tips and tricks you wanna know about swapping out the EVP sensor, uh, I got a trouble code showing that I couldn't, I was getting improper exhaust back pressure readings and when I pulled it up on my edge, you could clearly see that it was reading some crazy amount of back pressure due to the sensor being completely clogged. So yeah, if you guys got any questions or anything, just leave it down in the comment section down below.